Welcome to another amazing edition of Red Carpet Vibes on your favorite TV, Your Niger TV. We are live at Eco Hotel and Suites, Victoria and Lagos for the movie premiere of Tattoo. Now, I have seen the trailer of this movie and it looks so amazing. It looks enticing. It is what you should come out and see. I am looking forward to the cast, the character, the producer, the director. For them to tell me what this movie is all about, what we should be looking out for. My name is Ian Patrick and this is Red Carpet Vibes on your favorite TV. Stay tuned, guys. I said, back off. Tattoo. I think someone is after me. What is it? What the? Based on a book by Dr. Abraham Wakwo. She has no hiding place. Starry, Shagua Rinze, Toy Aimaku, Gabriel Afolaya, Rahama Saido, Fulola Afoebi Ryan, Sambasa Nzeribe, Saka, Frank Dunga, Desmond Elliott, introducing to Mebi Nzeribe. I would rather die than have Buru take my baby! <laughs> How are you doing today, ma? I'm very well, thank you. Okay, you you actually you went along with the color. I have I, I can see some a bit of white in it. So how are you doing today? What are you looking forward to? Um, a good time watching a different kind of movie. Um, I expect nothing less than to be entertained, to be thoroughly entertained, and a good quality production. That's why I'm here. Did you see the trailer of the movie? In fact, I was I couldn't really figure it out. It made me even more curious. I wasn't sure what to expect when I saw it. So I'm like, okay, because I wanted to know whether I should even come out at all. But all it did was to make me more curious to see what the movie is about. So how are you doing? You're looking beautiful. I'm beautiful. Thank you, you too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me, aside from other movies that we've been seeing cinemas lately, what sets this movie apart? Um, the, the, the creativity in it. I would just say the creativity and the depth in acting from the actors. Okay. Yes. What do you think about the producer and the director of this movie? Oh, Don? Don is a go-getter. Don, whatever he wants done, he, he achieves it no matter what. No matter the time of the night, he gets it done. <laughs> what are you doing today, Pius? I'm great. Nice. Okay, so talking about sound. Okay, guys, he is actually the one behind the sound in this movie. So tell me, what do you think about what do you think about this movie? Well, Tattoo is a different kind of a movie. It's not the romantic comedy that everybody sees on our uh, cinemas these days. It brings out the culture and the traditional about it. And you know, when you are talking about culture, you need to go an extra mile. Going an extra mile means you need to do an extra walk. You go into the bush, capture some live sound to implement in the movie and all that we did by grace but well, we make sure that at the end of the day we go back to the studio we listen to the ones that are more believable to be used and that's what we did on the movie next to me is the producer of this movie that we are yet to see so before we get into the whole stuff tell me why the choice of your cast why Shegun Rinze? Why Tony Imako? Tony Abraham Imako? Okay, so um, Tattoo the movie, uh, you know, is uh, what you call an uh, epic adventure. Um, it's the kind of movie that takes you out of your regular environment. And so what we wanted to do was to bring to you a cast that you were not, you know, that you were not used to every day. So, so for example, when we were going to pick the lead actress, we picked Rahama. Rahama, you know, is up north, one of the biggest actresses in the north. And, you know, she comes with a, 
you know, this accent, you know, that, you know, and whether that exoticness, you know, whether it's something different. So, and you know the power that someone like Arinze brings to his performances. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Tony, Tony, Tony came and killed it, you know. And so it was, you know, the intention to create a, a different mix from your usual, um, you know, fresh face, fine face, you know, wanted something ethnic, something that you would see and say it's truly African. And, and that's what, how we picked the cast. That's how we selected the people and the so, Okay, we have seen great cinema movies, yeah? What sets this one apart? I think what sets this movie apart is the, is the epicness. Nearly a year, I don't even know where you stay. I said, back off. Tattoo. Should I try to take off my heels? Do you want me to take it off? You're good. You're good. I'm just sure? just jealous. I have to. Remember. Okay, so I think it's allowed for, for for you to be jealous. So next to me is Rahama, the lead actress of this movie, Tattoo. So Rahama, why did you choose? Why this movie? Why did you choose this movie? Because it is something completely different from who Rahama Zadaw is and um, I believe that I have so much more than my ethnicity, I have so much more than what people you normally see in, the, in my own zone. So I mean it's a privilege to play a tattoo for other, for people to see that okay there is so much more than this person. Okay, so you, you, okay, you are part of Kaniwood, yeah? You left it to come to Nollywood to do this, yeah? So tell me now, how has Kaniwood been for you? Has it been a blessing? It's a, it's a blessing. If not because of Kaniwood, I wouldn't have been here. So it's a blessing. Apis Oyetoro, yeah? Probably known as Saka. How are you doing tonight? All right, thank you. Okay, so it was supposed to be a white dress code, but you're wearing a brown, Mm, round and a little. You didn't go with the dress code, why? No, I didn't go. Um, I I was coming from another event. Oh. I've been out of uh, town for some time, okay. so I I was called. So I was, instead of going home, I know I will be late. Okay. So I, we'll let we'll let that pass. So tell me, what what's your role in this movie? But, uh, well, I play a small um, <laughs> role. Small. <laughs> Guard. The, the role is uh, a guard, you know, a, a domestic uh, staff. But uh, I think it's a it's a very important role. Okay. What do you think about this movie in general? General. What general. Should we, what should we expect? Generally, it's a movie with a special touch. That's really nothing special. I mean, new under the sun again. But whoever watches this film will be highly informed and entertained. Whenever it comes out, you will feel fulfilled and special because we have a lot of dramatic nuances. All those things that we make our audience to feel that they have really watched a movie there. I don't want to uh, let the cat out of the bag. Let people go. And after this, they should go to the cinema and continue to watch it over and over and over again. So proud. Making me proud, how? I'm helping you. Okay, guys, meet short family. Meet short family. He's a guest today. How are you doing? I'm very fine. So, what are you looking forward to tonight? What do you think about? Have you seen the trailer of this movie? Honestly, I've not. Yeah. So, what are you looking forward to? I'm hoping to see something a bit outside the normal. Uh, judging from the fact that I can see Shego Arise is on the bill and uh, Tonya Marco and I, I want to see something a bit I want to be blown away at the end of the day when do you talking about movies now eh? so we don't see you for premieres nowadays do you intend going into movies soon it's not in the dream right now <laughs> <laughs> But what do you what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, I, I I believe it's going to be really interesting. I'm also, I'm also very eager to see the movie because I'm in the movie. Okay, so what role did you play in this movie? Side chick. Side. Why why they can't give you that kind of role? You said collector. Give me a move. But uh, what do you now? What's a person want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sambasa. Oh shit. <laughs> And uh, do maybe in Zeribe. So now, tell me what role you played in this movie before I start talking about do maybe in this picture. Well, in the movie, I played the role uh, Kamani. 
Kamani is a, a protector and a warrior, you know, of the prize of the community, you know, the, that village, and uh, he's sent to get back the princess, you know, sent uh, on an impo uh, impossible tax and. He made it through. Yeah. I guess he made it through. Because I've not seen the movie. What am I saying? He made it through. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Do maybe here is the mini Kamani. Yes. Yeah. He played the younger me. He's my younger nephew. Younger Kamani. But he is his. Wow. Your nephew. Your nephew yeah. don't enter. Yeah, I mean, first time. First time playing the role and um, uh, the 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 whole. Um, the cast, the crew, the producers, everybody are so impressed with him. Wow. You know, and that's why they made sure that he had to be here today. Wow, yes. So maybe, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How does it feel being a part of a movie with your brother, your uncle, rather? Oh, I had a great time, but it was also very tasky. I got some cuts, some bruises wow. when we shot in the forest in Oshun State. Wow. In the middle of Ekpe Forest in Lagos, we shot through the night till the, till the next morning, and I had to rush back to school to write my exams. Wow! Yes, it, was, it was actually the, pre, the, the next day was his exam, so it, the, 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 the project was very challenging, so he came uh, at the beginning of the day and stay through the night into the next day, you know, and you know how it is film, shooting a movie. Sometimes even the directors and the filmmakers forget that there is a child in their midst. But, but the truth is that at the end of the day, because um, he decided to do it, he's very passionate about being an actor, you know, even uh, in the, in the, while he slept, you know, we just made sure that when it was ready for him to shoot, we woke him up and he came, did his thing, and the next day, you know, because he had prepared earlier, he went and wrote his exams. Comes out and becomes a hit, improves the chances of another movie to come out and become a hit. And the more hits you get, the better the industry. And that is what I'm looking for, a better industry. So I'm praying that this is a hit. Okay, what do you look out for in a movie? Like, talking about your, okay, you, you're being a professional when it comes to acting, producing, directing. What do you look out for? Like I'm the president of the Directors Guild, so uh, the, the director is crazy about every little detail, from lighting to uh, your sound, to your countenance, to how you say the line, to how the scene is captured, to how everything, how the light relates to your smile, how the light in your eye relates to the sound of the bed, and the director is concerned about all of that, and that is why sometimes it's not the professional that is the best judge of a good film. You played the role of chief priest. Mm -hmm. okay, tell me about your role. He was a chief priest. Okay, what did the chief priest do? He was a nasty chief priest. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't want to give out a lot. I think you just come into the hall and see it, and we can talk after. Oh. Deal? So what, should we, what should we expect in this movie? From this movie? Excitement and the, the thriller. What, you, what, why, what made you accept this script? Like, what made you accept? I, I loved the script. It was a good script, and uh, I liked it, and I felt I wanted to do it, and I, so I did it. What do you look out for in a script, in a movie script? First, the character. How does it relate? Is the story good? What do I learn from the story? If I don't learn it, I'll throw the script out. The director of this movie, Don Omokwe. Thank you very much. Great to have you on the show. Same here. Great to have me on the show, actually. Okay, great to have you on my show. Thank you. <laughs> so let's let's talk about the movie now. What what's the storyline in this tattoo movie? Well, um, tattoo was inspired by my love for epic movies because um, growing up we watch a lot of epics on television and whatnot, and I always wanted to make an epic, but I didn't want to make an epic movie that was very traditional. I wanted to make an epic movie based in a very modern place, like, almost like a contemporary epic. So we came across this idea, a story about a simple story about a woman who who, who is desperate to have a child. And she goes to the gods to ask for a child. And then when she gets the are child... You, are, you not, are, you, are you trying to tell us the whole story? Or, no, okay. we're not even trying to tell you guys the whole story. But you know, but when she gets the child, she loves the child so much. And then she decided not, not to return the child to the god and to run away with the child. So the story is all about the gods trying to get their child back and the mother trying to keep her child away from the gods. That's so what she'll be looking for. Very interesting episode. Wow. Wow. Okay, now I get the storyline. So I heard it was... It was from a book. Yes. From is it Namdi? So, um, Dr. Abraham Mwankwo, um, um wrote the book, and it was an adaptation of the book. It's a brilliant book, 
Um, I would like to encourage every other filmmaker out there. Trust me, we have great stories in books, and once you watch this film, you would you would believe me on that. <laughs> Cata Moreno. And what's your name? Chicalano. Chicalano. Yeah. Okay. Your hair is something else. It is out of this world. Trust me. Why? Okay, this is not my first time seeing you go on this kind of style. It is, to me, it is, it is nice. But why this style? I just feel comfortable in it. Really? Yeah. And you stand out in it because you're the only one. Okay. Hers is, okay, hers is different. Yours is totally <laughs> mind blowing. She you're the like the color. She likes to keep it simple. Oh. Yeah, she preferred the black, yeah. Okay. All right, that's, that's actually a good one. Standing out on your own. You mean like when they see you, okay, that's Agatha coming there. That's I'm Agatha. used to colorful hairstyles and stuff like this. I don't, if I do dark colors, my children will be like, Mom, what's that? <laughs> yeah, so I can't do that. So that's the problem I'm in now. Okay. So I create something I can't stop. That's the problem. Okay, so, so what are you looking forward to tonight? Uh, to see a great movie. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Come. <laughs> Cameras, lights. Oh, it makes your voice go... Yes! Why? I'm shy. Oh, okay. You live for the TV, you shy. You know, we're behind the camera, so when the camera's in front of her, we're just like... Okay, okay, so she start, she's a fashion stylist in this movie, Tattoo. So Tattoo is totally different from every movie, you know, it's epic. And what were the challenges you had to face trying to style your cast? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> that's a long story. Cut it short. See everything here. Um, to cut it short, what are challenges as a costume designer you face when you have to chase the tailors to get the clothes out? So that's not even funny because you have location issues. Sometimes you have to... The scene for the day changes because of what location is available. So that makes you lose like a day with the, with the tailors. Yeah, basically just trying to get stuff out in time for you to shoot because you have a time frame that you have to get it done. So that was a bit of a challenge. The cast were amazing, totally understanding. Locations, prep, everything about that too was great. So even the challenge is, it was like an adventure, it was exciting. So <laughs> it's right there in your face where you're trying to get through it to the next one. Okay, so what do you think about the producer, Don Omokwe? I've worked with Don before and Don worked so hard on this project. Like from, we've been talking about it since last year. So both of us, we work well together. We have good synergy together. Yeah, Don is he's, he's a calm guy. He knows what he wants, he's patient about it and he gets what he wants that like he just did with tattoo. And I hope all of you get to enjoy the magic that Don has created with tattoo. How are you doing? I'm good and you're making me blush. Of course, now I walk without so. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fabulous. So let's talk about your fashion sense now. Who styled you? I styled myself tonight. I'm wearing something out of my wardrobe. She's super excited. Did you know? Do you know how many pictures she's, she took already? Like she's taken a, a thousand and so many pictures. You always have to take several pictures to get that one. One yeah. picture that you like, you know. So what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, I really love two things about this film. I love the production design, uh, you know, the outfits, um, the hairdos. And then second thing I love, I love the fact that it's based on a book. I know it's a unique story. I'm looking forward to being entertained tonight. Okay. Yeah. So talking about movie, what do you look out for in a movie? Um, in a movie, I look out for the story. The story needs to be very engaging. It really has to hold my attention. And then I look out for, um, you know, what lessons does it teach? Does it teach me anything new? Yeah, that. Greg OJ. Hey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Are you? I, I'm good. Unfortunately, I don't have cake to no, share with you today. Not, not, <laughs> not today. So what are you looking forward to tonight in this movie? From this movie, Tattoo. I'm looking for I'm looking forward to great entertainment. You know, I want to be blown away. I was blown away by the pictures I saw. You know, you seen the trailer, yeah. I have to see the trailer. He just he was there. yeah. I saw the trailer. The one check very, very, very quiet. It very. Yeah, it doesn't even tell. Yeah. You know, that increases the anticipation. So you know, then the makeup, 
you know, when when they don't see the hair. I, when Don called me, Don Omokwe called me and he was like, um, Gregory, I want you to come see my movie. I'm like, bros, I was planning to beg you to come and see the movie. <laughs> Guy, please, please, by all means. And, you know, because the, the costume, the makeup, the effect. I saw Shagun Rizzi. Shagun Rizzi was looking like one, one, one god from another dimension. Sambasa was looking like one demon from the deepest regions of the earth. I'm like, no, this is a movie to see. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm sure I'm going to be satisfied because um, aside the, 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 the makeup, of the aesthetics, the actors involved in it, and uh, you know, they not be today picking them be, so I'm sure they will deliver. Okay. I'll rather die than have Guru take my bed. You do it. Fine, thank you. What do you think about the movie? Fantastic movie. Yeah, it's really different from what we've been seeing and that's what makes it very unique, you know, amazing actors. It was a very good story. I can see the progression of the story from well I don't I don't want to give too much away for people that haven't seen it, but it was it was a good story and like I, I suspected it would be, it was a unique story. It's not the kind of story that we come across every day. Great, great performance, great uh, a great outing I must tell you. I I, I least suspected that. I don't know why, for some reason I didn't think it was going to be an explosion, but that was a big movie. It's very African and it's stuff that people would like to see, you know. I totally enjoyed it. Um, some of the standout characters for me were, um, of course, Gabriel Afolayon, um, Shegu Arinze, even Funola Aofiebi. I mean, she brought a spin on the whole yeah. Reverend Mother thing. I thought that was pretty incredible. This is something different, something you've never seen. You know, like, I can't say much, you have to come and see for yourself. Wait, tell them, what part did you play in that movie? Well, I'm the, the area boy, you don't understand, you don't understand. Tasko Champion, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff, yeah. I, I play the character of Tasko Champion out of the movie, yeah. Very interesting, very lively, very educative, very entertaining. It's rich. Uh, to be honest, um, while it provides some level of um, of, um, of excitement and intrigue, um, just some little bit of reality that is missing. That's just it. But I think it's all, all in all, it's, it's a good try for a, for a Nigerian movie. Um, um, the, the, there's a plot to it, which is good. I mean, which is there's a plot to it. It's just that there are some very some scenes that were not very didn't appear very realistic. Great, awesome. It's a total package of awesomeness, you know. Um, the casting, the effects, the quality of the picture quality, everything was on point. You know, this is this is what we. Oh, you both film with oh, you both epic <laughs> I, I I am proud to associate with this movie to be associated with this movie it's it was great i was wowed all the way from the beginning to the end the, the shots there was no dull moment no there wasn't there wasn't i mean it's it's obvious that it's um literature converted to you know to, to a movie fantastic movie um, my intention was just to go come in and come out and rush because i had so many other events to go but after seeing 15 minutes of the movie i couldn't go again stayed glued, like you had to stay glued yeah. a great effort i think i'm i'm really proud of um the cinematic interpretations by the director i think it was bold um, yeah, it's often difficult to reflect traditional society or take people through a journey especially because it's an adaptation of literary work and uh, but i must commend the director and uh, um, for for really um, taking it by the horn the output is excellent the output is perfect very great very good standard it projects it more it projects it better i mean it is in a book as drama which is which been published since 2004 uh, but, but this is an opportunity for a greater population a greater market to have access to it in the form of uh, cinema because there are people who don't have time to read books but they want to watch this big screen so this is an opportunity for them to have a glimpse of my original idea
Um, I'm quite happy. Um, I'm quite happy with the reaction. I mean, I mean, we still have a little bit more work to do before it comes to the cinema on September 15th. Remember, September 15th, this is coming out in the cinemas across Nigeria. Um, I love the reaction. I love the way people spoke. I love the way people laughed. Um, there are some little bit of things we need to fix, but so far so good. We are pleased with the reaction. So what you're saying is this is this is not a full movie. No, what you have here is the full movie, but like anything, like, like art, we continue to tweak things. So now we've seen some things we can tweak, and by the 15th of September, people are going to have lots of fun and lots of enjoyment. Okay, thank you so much. There you have it. We have come to the end of tonight's show. Tattoo the movie is an amazing movie you should watch out for. It's unique, educative. Come September 15th, it will be out in the cinemas. My name is Len Patrick, and this is Recap Advice on Your Ninja TV. Good night, guy. If you want to read the movie, on the scale of 1 to 10, what number would you rate it for? 9. <laughs> I'd give it a 6 over 10.